Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to May I Scrap Lift You combined with Christmas in May. Today I am scrap lifting Crafty Queen Cat with this awesome layout and I'm super excited to use it for my uh, Christmas in series which happens on the 25th of every month and um, I think that's super exciting because you can get a little bit of Christmas throughout the year and work on those Christmas projects throughout the year. It doesn't have to be an album, it could be a card or something different, but I decided to work in my Christmas album which is 6x8. So I pulled out my Christmas supplies which um, I have all in, they're all kind of kitted up if you will into an iris bin with everything so I can take it with me if I'm going somewhere and traveling and that is why my desk looks different there because I am not at my desk I am in a dining room and it is not mine. So I decided to go with the same um, general layout with the larger piece of paper at the top and the smaller at the bottom although mine is more of I don't know if it's a third a third and a third um, my bottom strip is definitely not as narrow as the inspiration piece, but that's okay. Uh, it's kind of the same idea. And so I have this photo. Let's see here. What photo am I using? I did this quite some time ago, so I don't even know what photo I am using. I actually believe that I didn't have the photo with me, um, so I just put a placeholder in there is what I believe happened here. So um, bear with me as I try to remember what I did. Um, okay, so I end up creating a little border um, strip there to bridge the gap of the two different pieces of paper. And I really like how that looks, and I love all of these papers together, so that's making me really happy. And then I am edging it in black because some of the other pieces in my, um, in my album have the black inking on it. And I have been using that scallop punch in some of the other pages as well. So the photo that is going in this um, on this page is of my daughter and my grandson, and they are making cinnamon rolls for Christmas. And that is a family tradition that we have. My mom has made them, and in the past few years, my kids have kind of taken over uh, making them. My my daughter doesn't usually get here early enough to start the dough. My son normally does that part, and then she normally finishes them. Um, at least over the past two years, that's kind of what's been happening. And at this point, Noah is actually helping to put the cinnamon and the sugar on the dough as it's rolled out, and that's the photo that I am, I am documenting today. So I really love that card that says, The Most Wonderful Time of the Year. I didn't really want to cover up a lot of the words, so I kind of nestled the photo in next to it. And then I have this piece that says Jingle Bells. So that is the photo right there. You can see it to the right-hand side. But I, I'm going to reprint it to be closer to a 3x4 than in that little like half wallet size. Um, so I'm using it as a reference with regard to color and placement. So I know in the photo that there is a void where I'm going to put that Jingle Bells at. And so that's why I went ahead and put it there and I just don't put any glue on the part that is over the white photo mat. The glue is on the striped paper and the, the card that has the text on it. And that way it'll allow me to slide my photo underneath when I get back to my own house and uh, can print it out um, in the proper size. So um, it is helpful that I have the small photo but um, Again, uh, it is not the size that I'm going to be using. So then I went through the wood veneer that I have in my little kit, and I decided to use that piece that says Joy. I really like that. And then I, I do end up using the little tree and the holly berries there, or the holly leaves with the berries, and um, the little sticker that says Be Jolly right at the top of the photo. I'm really happy with the way that looks. And then I decide I'm going to go ahead and punch, uh, punch. I'm going to pull out some of my um, label stamps and add those because I have been using my label stamps in this album. So I want to keep some continuity all the way through the album with reusing certain items uh, repeatedly. Now they don't have to always be the same color or anything like that. 
but um, I do like to have a little bit of repetition somehow in the album. So I did buy this stamp set. This is a stamp set from um, Elizabeth Craft Designs, and it is intended to be a Christmas stamp set because it does talk about winter and Christmas and your wish list and all of that good stuff. But I really bought it for this little label, <laughs> which is ridiculous because I think the thing was like $11. But um, I love that label stamp, and I will use the the words as well. Some of them don't have to be Christmas related, like together doesn't or moments. They those don't have to be Christmas related. But um, I I love that little label, so I was like, okay, it's useful for a lot of things. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And so I am using my little Prima chalk inkers because those travel well, and they are already in a bag ready to go. And so. I am using those to ink up my stamps. And then the other stamp set that you saw is from the stamp market and they are called Labeled. You see me use them frequently. Um, I really love them. They're great for journaling spots and everything. Um, I don't know that they still make them, so I apologize if you cannot find them and you're looking for them. But they are basically a label stamp with uh, lines on them. So I am back home now. You can tell by the change of uh, desk. And I did reprint that photo, and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And the little circular piece um, that says Jingle Bells is in the, just the right spot. And so that makes me pretty happy. And there's those labels that I was just talking about. And so I am going to tuck a couple of those in. I'm just trying to decide which size is going to be the right size and where exactly I want to tuck them in. And so I'm going to play around with that for just a little bit. And while I do, let me tell you um, about May I Scrap Lift You. We've been doing it all month long. I am going to finish out the whole month with uh, Crystal over at Pineapple Papers. And I have a video for ev every day where I am scrap lifting mostly the same people that she is scrap lifting, but um, we were free to choose whatever layouts or whatever person we wanted to scrap lift. I just happened to choose the same people she already had the list for. And um, for the most part, there are a couple of days that I did swap out or um, rearranged who was on what day, but um, that was just to meet the requirements for other um, commitments that I had. So. Uh, the piece that I am playing with right there at the top, you can see a stamp set on the left-hand side. That is also another um, Elizabeth Craft Design stamp set, and it's from her planner collection. And that is a newer stamp set as well as the Christmas stamp set. And they are both around $11, $12, somewhere around in there. Um, and I just really do think that labels of any kind are super, super useful in having uh, in having in your stash because you can use them for so many things and just to bring color to bring layers um, and all kinds of stuff like that so I highly recommend investing in those if you have it in your budget and they are something that you think you might use now I did go through my my enamel dots I was going to pull out my uh, I have several new packages of enamel dots but then I had some in a zipper pouch and I decided to use those up first because I'm trying to get through all of these little onesie twosie pieces as you can see they're they're not like a full sheet and so I am creating a little visual triangle around the two embellishment areas um, I do have a third embellishment area kind of in the middle but I don't add a whole lot to that just because um, this page, the pages are so small, I don't think it really needs it. Um, a six by eight is quite a bit smaller than a 12 by 12. And if I'm got, I've got a vertical, a vertical, a diagonal design going on here, so I didn't feel like I needed to add a whole bunch in the middle. And I'm just inking up the edges to kind of finish it off. And that's pretty much going to do it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have questions or comments, um, always feel free to leave those down below and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. I don't respond daily, but I do get back to you and I do read all of my comments. Don't forget to uh, check out all of the ladies playing along with May I Scrap Lift You and with Christmas in May. And the Christmas in series uh, happens the 25th of every month. So come back and check us out again next month. Bye-bye now.